Welcome back to this course. This is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. And in this video, we're going to start off by looking at the customer module on QuickBooks Online. So the customer module is found to the left here. We have this sidebar, customers, suppliers, employees, transactions, reports, VAT, and other things. And we'll come to these other modules later on in this course. For this video, let's click on customers. Once you click on customers, you'll have the customer screen appear. You have some very useful information at the top of the module, and this information will become more clear as we start entering invoices and payments from customers on QuickBooks. Um, but just for a, a quick review, this information shows how, mu how many invoices by value have been paid in the last 30 days. We have the amount of invoices or, or invoice value overdue, open invoices, unbilled activity and estimate. This is to do with quotes on QuickBooks. Your customer list is here. We currently have no customers, so the customer list is empty. But if we go to the top right here, we have new customer. So if we click on new customer, you'll have this customer information box appear and we can enter our first customer. So let's say our customer is a business called Sage Books. Okay, so in the company, we will put Sage Books. The reason why I want to do the company first is if the name is entered first, it will be dragged down to the display name. This is the display name on QuickBooks. Um, if you put in the company first, that will be the display name. Um, you can edit it, obviously, um, and let me explain this further. So let's say the contact for us at Sage Books is Lisa Brooks. You'll see the display name is Sage Books. Say we wanted to display this customer as Lisa Brooks, we can easily just type in L I and Lisa Brooks comes up. But I want this as Sage Brooks Sage Books. So whenever I enter a customer on QuickBooks, I always do the company first because it just saves me a bit of time. We can now put in the billing address of the customer. So let's just make something up, some sort of street and a town. Let's do Norwich in Norfolk. And then we can enter a postcode. So once again, I'll just make something up. And there we have it. We have the customer contact, the company name, the display name on QuickBooks, their address along with the city, county and postcode. If the customer has a different shipping address, if you're planning to sell products and you're going to ship items that have a separate billing address to shipping address, you can enter the shipping address here. If it's the same as the billing address, just make sure this box is ticked. There are some other contact information up here. We have email, so let's put in the customer email. Now all of this information is useful for a couple of reasons. First of all, it creates a database for you on your account software of all your customer contact information. So if you need to call Lisa to chase a payment, say you have all the information here on QuickBooks. Now it's also useful for another reason, and that is you can email invoices and email statements directly from QuickBooks. And they'll use the contact details such as the email address up here to do that. So it's, it's useful for a couple of reasons. So I suggest that you put it in. So let's say lisa at sage.books.com. Her phone number. Once again, I'll just make something up. 
a mobile number, fax number, other contact, her website. Let's put something in there. And then that's pretty much done. There are some other tabs here that may be of use to you. We have notes, so let's click on notes. You can add a note about this customer. We have tax information. You can put in their VAT registration number, and you can also verify that they're VAT registered by that number. And then we have payment and billing. Now this will help you later on when you raise invoices and receive payments. It sets some defaults for you. So you can enter a preferred payment method. Say they always pay by cash. You can put in a default terms. Generally terms for most businesses are net 15 or net 30. Some are net 60 and then some are, are different to that on QuickBooks already by default you should have due on receipt net 15 net 30 and net 60 if you want to add another payment terms just click add new and I'll cover that later on in this course so let's say our terms with them with sage books is net 15 preferred delivery method we'll leave that as none that'll be none for most of you opening balance once again that will be zero if you're transferring your data to QuickBooks QuickBooks can actually do that for you so the opening balances and everything is there already for you um, and they can guide you through that if you're transferring to QuickBooks from Excel say you may need to open you, you may need to enter an opening balance and as of okay once that is all done click Save and our customer will be added. It takes us to the customer record by default, so you may need to go back. If you just click on the customer module, you'll be taken back to the screen, and here we have it, Sage Books. That's our first customer. Let's add another one just to make sure um, I'm explaining everything clearly. Click New Customer, enter the name, or company first depending what you want as the display name so let's try Clearview training that's the display name our contact there is Derek Walters once again an address City, let's say Ipswich. That's in Suffolk. And once again, a postcode. I'll just make something up. Email address again. Phone number. Just making something up. Mobile number. fax, other, website, shipping details is the same as the billing details. I don't want to add any notes or anything else, but they, I do know they usually pay by check. And once again, we have net 30, no opening balance. And let's click save. We're taken to their record. Just go back to the customer module. And there we have it, two customers on QuickBooks, Clearview Training and SageBooks. Hopefully that was fairly clear. Click on the link to the right or in the description to go to the next video.